you convicts. Anybody that needs to go potty, it's potty time. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Guitar Wishes and your Guitar Wish today. This is Lee coming to you once again from our beautiful Guitar Wishes facility here in downtown Lincoln, North Carolina. Today, we have an incredible friend of the show who has come in and is sitting down with us, one of the most talented people that uh, I know, and uh, it's an honor to have you here. This is Paige Rice. Paige, how are you? I am fabulous. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Well, um, Gosh. The, the invoice will be in the mail. Oh, so. okay. Never mind, man. <laughs> well, Paige has uh, always known us here. We've uh, we've done many plays together, and uh, she's one of the most talented people that we know. You've done a lot of theater in the area. Tell me how you got started in theater. Um, I really don't. I can't remember. The first show we ever did was when I was in junior high, The Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. And um, I played the scarecrow. Okay. And we sold out. We charged a dollar for mm -hmm. everybody to get in. And the band played. So it was like, you know, just the school stuff. Right. But um, then the Arts Council started to do the summer musicals. And my mom was um, on the board at the time. So the first one was Oklahoma. And um, I didn't get a part. And it wasn't good. Well, of course it wasn't good. <laughs> But then the next year, we did The Sound of Music, mm -hmm. and they double-cast the Marias. Right. They double-cast every kid mm -hmm. except for me, and I was Liesl, and I got to play every night, so awesome. that made up for everything. Oh, yeah. And then um, we would just, I would just do the summer musicals. Right. Then when I went to college, I worked at Tweetsie Railroad. Oh, that was a good for job. Two for two seasons. Yeah. Yes. I was Diamond Leal the first mm -hmm. year. Then I found the error of my ways, and I was singing the gospel group, the High Country <laughs> Quartet, the second year. So right. then I came home. I took a little break. I didn't do much theater. Then um, Footloose came Absolutely. and that's where I met you right. and I wasn't in Footloose but Annalisa Johannesson mm -hmm. um, Locke asked me to um, help backstage and sure. with some of the music and stuff and so you know when you get bit by that bug you can't help it. Absolutely and what I loved about it uh, and the experiences I've had and I know you you feel the same way is you build that community of friends and it's almost like a theater or a play family mm -hmm. and when the play's over, there's almost a sadness oh, yeah. that it's over. And so you want to move on to the next one. Hopefully some of the, the people from your past performances will be in that one. And that family just builds. And just grows and grows. Absolutely. And so you're, you're constantly chasing that high of, exactly. of uh, the past performance, always trying to outdo the past performance. And uh, most of the things I've ever seen you in, I've always seen you exceed your past performances. Even when we did Rock of Ages together. That was my favorite show. I would mm -hmm. I would do Rock of Ages every day of my life. That was a great show. I, that just, listen, I went to see it in Charlotte. Yeah. We could have got up there. I'm sure we could. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, comment down below if you want to see us uh, sing some of the songs. We Ow! Do that. Hey, watch out. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and, and uh, we're in the middle of doing a sizzle for a production company and uh, for some things that are on the horizon and uh, you're a part of that too and again it's bringing all of these family members theater family musical family together for another quote-unquote performance it's a really exciting time it is exciting time <laughs> what's on the horizon any plays on the horizon do you see yourself doing anything taking a little break I because I did, we did Rock of Ages, right. then we went into Sanders uh, Smoke on the Mountain. Right. No, Best Little best, Chicken Ranch in Texas. That's right. I guess I can say Best yeah. Little Whorehouse. Yeah, I don't know. Of course. And I was Miss Mona, of course. That was know. a great play. Well, that was I, that was the first lead role I'd ever had. And I'm telling you, it was hard. Yeah. Because um, I was out on stage just about every, throughout the whole show. And mm -hmm. I had to work because, you know, I'm older now and fatter now, oh. and uh, you had to work a little bit harder to get that. But You're probably at the point that I am, and you're looking for that certain role. I, well, you know, the funny thing is, I think I found it, and it was Justice in Rock of Ages. <laughs> there is, Even though I loved Miss Mona, right. 
there was just something, justice just had enough that I was out there on stage. I got, I was thrilled with that, but I didn't have to work that hard. I mean, you know, it was just, yeah. it was just the role of a lifetime, it, I it thought. Was, for me also. So, that was well, great, you were Stacy Jacks. Yeah, you great, had a big role. It was a great show. <laughs> well, it was a great cast. Great cast, great direction. It, it was all around the perfect show, the perfect storm for me too. But uh, I'm super excited for what's on the future, uh, the future track for this show and for things going on with uh, our production and the sizzle that we're producing now. So um, there's great things in the future, and I'm super excited to have you a part of it. When, I'm when, super excited. You know, too. when they mentioned somebody for this you know, and they mentioned your name, I was like, Paige Rice is uh, perfect. This, well, so. you know, I teach kindergarten and I only have two, maybe three years left. So mm -hmm. this would be a good time to maybe do something. Oh, that's like cool. This. That's cool. And I wanted to ask you about something that I heard. I heard oh, that no. there was a song that you sang. That it was in a, one of your first or early plays or as a child. What was this? No. Is it the one I'm thinking yes, of? Yes, it is. I learned it at Girl Scout Camp. Girl Scout Camp. <laughs> <laughs> the things you learn at Girl Scout Camp. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but listen, I always had a dream. You know how David Letterman used to like pull people up from in when in, in his audience sure. and do crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to go to New York and be on the David Letterman show and do this song. Well, we would love to hear a little bit if you don't mind. Really? Please. I'd love to. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. I know a weenie man, he owns a weenie stand. He sells everything but hot dogs on down ball, ball, ball. Someday I'll change his life. Woo! I'll be his weenie wife. Hot dog, I love that weenie man. Woo! I can be your weenie man, Miss Page. You gotta be careful though, because I get excited. It turns like this right here. Get that thing off of me! Yes, ma'am. Oh, my heavens! All right, thanks so much to Paige Rice for coming out and sharing a little bit about her theater journey with us today. It was a true pleasure to sit down with my old friend and have a discussion. And if you want to know more about anything you've seen on our channel, please let us know here at guitarwishes.com. Check out our Facebook site, of course. And thanks to all of everybody who has uh, liked and subscribed to our YouTube channel. Be sure and like and subscribe to that if you haven't already done so. And smash that notification bell so you're informed of new content uploaded daily. Something really cool has happened, uh, and it looks like that this coming Friday, uh, myself and Roger are going to have an incredible experience and go down and do a couple of interviews in Charlotte at PNC Music Pavilion with Jason Bonham and his guitar player, Jimmy. It's going to be an incredible night. And if things go well, you'll be seeing some of those interviews next week right here on our YouTube channel. So if hot dogs, hot dogs, get you, well, hey there, Cousin Lee. How you doing? What's up? <laughs> but love at Uncle Steve.